this is Kelly Stoltz, and uh, we are wandering through my house. Yeah, what chores did I accomplish today? Um, earlier on, I, uh, I made a cup of tea, and that was tough because uh, I leapt out of bed at approximately uh, 10 a.m. after a good nine hours sleep and uh, made a cup of tea, you know, and that's tough. That's hard work. Um, boiling the water, uh, stirring in the honey, etc., etc. Then I uh, got up and I headed out to my front yard and did some work out here. I uh, got a lot of uh, plants and things like that. To show you there behind. Yeah, there's some plants, some trees, some steps, some more plants, some trees, some more steps, some plants, some. Oh, uh, and so what I did was uh, I had to do a lot of gardening. So as you can see, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six bags of. Uh, plant matter which is heading to the compost and uh, we'll make new plants and new animals and new people and uh, new oxygen for us all to breathe. So that's, uh, that's, that's the big chore I got done today. The instrument that I'm currently uh, really into at the moment is uh, something I just got the other day. It's uh, made by a company called Italia, and it's an electric sitar, it's kind of in the shape of a guitar, it kind of looks like a Fender Jaguar or something. Um, but it's got a bridge here that makes all the strings vibrate a little bit, more than they should, and also a set of sympathetic strings that kind of uh, also vibrate when you play down here. So you can do all kinds of, you know, chords. And they have a little uh, Indian vibe to them. You play some Pink Floyd. These were used on all the uh, you know bubblegum songs back in the 60s. I'm not sure if it's ever going to make it to any of my songs, but uh, it sure is fun to just sit in a drop D tuning. And... I grew up watching a lot of uh, British comedy as a kid, and uh, so Monty Python was probably my first uh, and, and biggest influence on my sense of humor, and uh, it stuck with me my whole life. So anything British and remotely absurd, I'm a big fan of. So uh, lately, probably my favorite character on uh, TV is uh, Steve Coogan's Alan Partridge. Um, I love the uh, original series, and I was really happy uh, to see him do his character again a couple years ago in those shorts he did with uh, sidekick Simon when he was stuck doing digital radio. Um, Saxondale, The Trip, it's just comedic genius. Um, beyond that I watched the new uh, Der uh, Ricky Gervais show, Derek, and I noticed that on the picture of Derek he's got a sweater not all like this. Yeah, a bit of a greasy comb over. Can AIDS give cancer AIDS? And uh, I just loved it. So uh, those are my favorite characters in uh, film or TV right now. Fantastic. Um, I've got a car, and uh, it's a Volvo station wagon. Gray, uh, nice leather interior. It's a 1996. It's got about uh, 220,000 miles on it. Um, I bought it used for about uh, 1800 bucks. But uh, when I'm not driving, which is most of the time, um, I'm usually either walking or uh, on this sucker right here. My white bicycle. My white bicycle. Yeah, that's it. Look at that. Uh, it's kind of hard to get in the picture here, but uh, maybe like that. Yeah, I'm using this backwards thing, so you have to use the opposite side of your brain. Uh, yeah, it's just a regular bike, and uh, it's got wheels like that, chrome. 
Uh, it's got the handy uh, super urban anti-theft device there hanging. Um, this bike and I have had a long relationship. I bought it at a, a thrift store for about $49 uh, 10, 15 years ago. Um, almost got rid of it because I thought it had some bad mojo. One day I was riding along and for no apparent reason it seized up and I smashed my balls right here really hard and uh, thought I might never walk or procreate or uh, anything like that ever again. And I uh, thought it was maybe this bike. But uh, we're, we're friends again, new set of handlebars. And uh, you know, I feel positive again. Anyway, that's what I got. I got a bike. I got feet too, two feet. But uh, generally, it's uh, the bike or the car when I gotta get around.